Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you five hairstyles that are perfect for short hair and they'll work for long hair and medium length hair, but they just are easier to do with short hair and I just think they look really cute with short hair. Um, so yes, and I know you're probably like, your hair isn't even that short, but to me, it's really short, so that's what I'm calling this video, hairstyles for short hair. I also realized while doing these hairstyles that they are perfect for fall. They just look like really fall, like tumbler, really trendy hairstyles, so I may title this video fall hairstyles, who knows. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching and let's just get started. So I'm working with curly hair, but you can also work with straight hair if your hair is fine. Make sure you curl your hair and add volume. My hair is naturally thick, as you can tell, so these hairstyles work probably better for me because my hair is thick. And I know in lots of my tutorials, everyone's like, oh, I can't do this, I have thin hair. So if you do have thin hair, make sure you just get your hair textured, curl it, um, tease it, just do whatever, put some dry shampoo just to get it textured so that once you do like all the hairstyles I show you, it'll actually work. So yes, so let's just get started with the first hairstyle. Alright, so the first hairstyle is a half up, half down bun. Um, I feel like that looks so good on short hair. Like right when I cut my hair, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. Take the um, top of your hair and just kind of pull it back. Sorry, I'm just like looking into the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror. And I'm just kind of taking the front section almost. And my hair kind of already has that volume, so I don't know if I'm going to really tease it right there. Because it kind of just has that volume already right now. But you guys can tease it if you have kind of thinner hair or flat hair right here. You can either just put a ponytail in right there, and I think that's super cute with short hair, just like that. Or you can twist it with your finger, and then twist it around and do a bun, like a top knot. Okay, so it looks like this, and it looks very weird, so we're just going to pull at this. You can pull the front, make that a little bit more voluminized. And there you go. You can also bobby pin it too so that it's not so wobbly. Alright, the next hairstyle is like a poof in the front and then you just bobby pin it. So what I like to do is just take the front section, just take the bangs, so like the bang part right there. Hairspray. I'm using the Aquage Volumizing Fix Hairspray. I love it. And then just tease. And then you're just going to push up and then bobby pin it in place. So that is the hairstyle. hairstyle is French braided bangs with a slicked back side. It looks so good. I actually got so many compliments when I wore it and this is like my favorite hairstyle ever. I love it so much. Okay, so just figure out where your part, like which side you want it on. So I'm going to do it on this side just because I always do. When I kind of pull everything to this side, I got like a, not a bald spot, but it's just really blonde hairs right here. So I like to bring that piece down like that. I'm going to do the braided part first key is to get lots of volume. That's what makes this whole French braided bang thing. If it's flat, it doesn't really make a statement. So if you have thin hair, I know this French braid is going to be really difficult for you, um, but just make sure you spray it with some hairspray. And if you don't have hairspray, use dry shampoo. And then go in with any type of brush, comb, anything you have. I'm just using this. And tease. So now I got like this huge mass of volume, so we are ready to braid. And I like taking a pretty big section, so this is kind of the key to it. So it's like two inches long. So to French braid, if you guys don't know, you just take it, take your first section, divide it into three, and then you're just going to do one simple braid, just like that. But then the next time you go, you're gonna grab some more. And then grab some more on this side. I'm 
Once you get to about here, you can just start braiding down. And then you're just going to hold this and fan out each side of the braid. Alright, so once you're done, you're just going to take your braid and then lift this section up and, br and pin it in place. Last time I did this braid, I actually had dry shampoo in my hair and that worked a whole lot better because um, right here, it's not very defined. Right here, you can see the braid, but right here, it's kind of lost. And that's because last time I used dry shampoo, so I would definitely recommend using dry shampoo to get that texture. If you have clean hair or silky hair and your braid is just not doing well, you can just take, like mine, is, my hair is pretty clean, so it's kind of just getting flat at the top. You can just take a bobby pin, lift up, and just kind of pin it in place how you want it. You can also kind of take a comb or anything and just kind of loosen that up. Alright, so you can leave your hairstyle like this, but to add like a sl slicked back look, you can take this hair right here. We'll take this piece, throw it over, and then take this piece and then slick it back and bobby pin it. And then just throw your hair back over it. And then you can just take some hairspray and slick it down. And then I like to keep like one hair right there and that is the look. Okay, this next hairstyle is going to be a low bun and then like two sides are going to come wrapping around. It just looks really pretty. So for this low bun, I'm going to do a middle part. Okay, so I got the perfect middle part. It's not really perfect, but you know, it'll do. It's going to get confusing, but you're going to take your bang parts right here in the front. They're probably shorter. Put them in the front like that. Then the little bit of longer pieces in the middle here. Take, put them right there. And the back is going to be the bun. So gather it all into a low bun. You're probably going to have some pieces sticking out if your hair is like my length. So you're just going to tuck them in. Now you're going to take these sections in the middle. Take them right here is going to be flat, but then you're just going to twist right here. And you're going to pull that up and around to the other side. Bobby pin it after you've twisted it once around the loop. Make sure it's flat like that. And then you're just going to twist at the bottom. Alright, so then if these pieces are too long, like mine are really long, I thought, I mean it works, but it's like borderline too long. So keep them down if they're short enough and if you think they look good. I mean, I just feel like they're too long for me. Um, but if, if they're just too long, you can take them, put them behind your ears like this. It's kind of like another slicked back look, which is trendy right now. And then it's going to come down underneath your bun and no one will see it. Bobby pin them in place. Then you can just hairspray them and then smooth it out just so that it's really Kim Kardashian looking. And there we go. I think it looks really cute and like you could wear this to somewhere fancy. And then if it's too slick, you can pull some sad burns out. And there you go. No, I don't want your number, no. I don't want to give you mine, and no. I don't want to meet you nowhere, no. Don't want none of your time. So I do have a technique when curling my hair, and that's how I kind of get these 
curls, so I'm just going to show you exactly how I do that because I have a feeling a lot of you guys are just going to ask after seeing my hair throughout this tutorial. So the last hairstyle is just down and curl. All I do is just take the section, and I know my hair is kind of already curled, but after all those hairstyles, it's kind of lost the curl, so I'm just going to recurl it. I know, a lot of damage on the hair, but whatever. So I just take the piece. I like to take nothing too big. It's like This is a good section right here. And I wrap it around the first one, can be flat, but then you're just going to twist your wrist. <laughs> and then I kind of pull at it, and that is the curl I'm going for. It's just really soft, curly waves. So then I do the same thing flick your wrist, flick it, and I do that on my whole entire head. And that is basically it. That is the curls. That's what I started off this video as. These nice wavy curls. And then sometimes I just like flip in my head a little bit so it just loosens up. And that did kind of loosen the curls. So that is it for this five hairstyles for short hair. Be sure to leave a comment below which hairstyle was your favorite and let me know if you guys try out any of these hairstyles. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.